Today I'm going to show you a very quick tech tip on how you can have a single file in two separate folders on your Google Drive. This is another flipped classroom tutorials. Now we've all had situations where we've wanted a file in two separate locations. This could be either in a shared folder and a personal file folder, or this could be in two separate folders in your own drive. Now, as you can see, I have a testing folder one here, and in this folder, I have a little video clip. Now I'm going to go back to my main drive and you will see I have a second folder here, testing folder two, and there is nothing in this folder. Now, instead of creating a copy of my first file, which is here, check out this ditty. Now, instead of making a copy of this file, I want it represented in both files. So acting as a sort of a shortcut. I don't want a copy because when you're collaborating on files, you are ending up with multiple copies and you might not be collaborating or working in the correct file. Now, how do you do this? Well, it's very simple. It is a little trick that you can use and it's a simple shift Z. Now, when you press shift Z, you will see that it can now be moved. Now I'm going to locate folder two. Here we go. And I'm going to add it to the folder. Now you will see, check out this ditty has been added to testing folder two. Let's go back to my original drive. Now you should see that I have the file in folder one. And when I go into folder two, you will see that very same file right here. Now, how can I be sure that this is not a copy, but the exact same file? Well, simple. Click on the file, open up your information. So let's view details and you will see under details, you will see that it is in the location folder two and folder one. That means that this same file is in two separate locations on Google Drive. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Now you can subscribe and hit that bell notification so you always get notified of new videos. I would love to hear your thoughts on how you will use this. And if you found it helpful, do leave a comment so we can all start a conversation and discussion on good practices and good use. I will see you in the next one.